Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's move on to the next question that is this. The following table shows that the number of units of different products sold on different days. It's basically a distribution of number of units of different products sold on different days. That means on Monday, 12 breads were sold. On Tuesday, 3 breads were sold. So like that the data set is. Now we have to create 5 sample numeric vectors from this particular data. Now whenever we are supposed to create sample numeric vectors, then in that particular case, it can be random. There is no fixed proportion of values that can be a part of this particular subset. So we just have to create sample numeric vectors. And that too, we have to create five sample numeric vectors. So, so for creating that, we'll be using the sample function. The very first thing that we are going to do is just to create this particular data set code in the R compiler. And then we'll write the script for doing this thing. So here I'm inside the R compiler. And this is the code for just creating the data set. You can see we have total six columns that we have specified here. And we also have written each column's values, that is the row. So let's run this and let's see the data set that we have created. So this is the data set. Now I'm thinking of creating the sample vectors that will be a part of the same column. That means randomly, that means all the values will be used, but the sequence would be random. Let me show you one example. So here we are going to create a variable sample vector one in which we are going to create our very first vector. Now for that, we are going to use the bracket operator that we did earlier. So let's use this sales data and then we will be using this bracket operator. Now inside this, as I already told you, we have to specify two things. The first is the row condition and second is the column. As we are supposed to create sample numeric vectors, so I'll be using the sample function. Now inside the sample function, we'll specify what number of samples has to be created. So let's write it. Now inside this, we'll specify the length. So basically it will start from one and we'll go till the length of the entire sales data. So basically over here, you can see we are using a colon operator just to define the range. So it will start from one and it will go till the nth value. So for accessing the nth number of row from the data set, we will use the end row function. Now inside this end row function, we have to specify the name of the data set. That is the sales data. And once we are done with it, we will also specify the column name. So as I already told you, this will come as the second parameter. So here, column name can be specified with this quotes. So the name of the column is Monday. So let's specify that. And now once we do that, a sample numeric vector will be created and will be stored inside the sample underscore vector one variable. Just to make sure, let's try to print this particular variable sample underscore vector one and let's see what we get. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contains technical information. Here I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So Please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. Let's run it. And over here, you can see we are getting this particular output. So if you look carefully, these are nothing but shuffled values of the column Monday. Here you can see 12, 21, 10, 6, 5 are the values. Here also 12, 21, 6, 5 and 10 are the values. But they are not having the same order as it was in the previous data set. So I hope this thing is clear. So now this is one single vector. Similarly, we'll be creating four other vectors, which will sum up to five vectors. So let me do that. So here you can see I have created sample vector two, sample vector three, four, and five. And I have used different columns every time, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday we have already created. So, and then I have printed these five vectors. So I hope it is clear. Now let's try to run this particular code. And let's see what output we get. Here you can see we are getting this particular output. And if we look for Thursday, it has the values 11, 20, 6, 13, and 20. So here also it has the values 11, 13, 6, 20, and 20. So I hope this thing is clear. With this, we have completed the this particular sum. Now 
there is a small question that is asked inside this particular sum itself that is to name and explain the operators that are used to form data subsets in r so this is a theoretical question I provide you the theory in this particular note i already have appended it let me show you that so here you can see that these five operators we can use to form data subsets so one is the square bracket the second is the logical operators next is the subset function which we already have seen how to use it next is the in operator and next is the double square brackets that we can use as well as we can also use the uh, dollar operator that is to extract the variable names so i'll be providing you the theory of it in the description box please check out that